manifolds. Now, in the second video on indices, and in this video, I'm going to solve some problems, and I am going to show you that how problems should be attempted and how they should be solved so that nothing remains behind. Okay, let's start it. So, I'm uh, I'm not going to show which book I'm using. You can use any book, but obviously you should keep your textbook which is shown there, which is given in your school syllabus first because you school guys know better what to do and what not to. So there is one question of simplification. There is one question of simplification. I'm doing that first. It is saying two to the power eight into a to the power eight b cube then 4 cube into a to the power 5 b square see this is a very simple problem and those who have already understood indices uh, for them this is nothing this is absolutely nothing but still i'm doing it because this video is intended to not this video is not only for good students but this video is also for them who are a little bit weaker in the field of mathematics but i am here if you guys follow my videos you will start to love mathematics right okay see in this type of problems we first should check what are the main things are there what are the main things in the last video if you go through once again what did it show x to the power n these type of quantities i were writing again and again okay so i'm talking this one as a main part this x or the base okay so here what are the main parts or the bases a a b b but now here see here what is happening two and this is four but as soon as you see this thing Try to think what is 4? 4 is actually 2 square, right? And here we have 4 to the power 3. 4 to the power 3. So this one is 2 square whole cube. Okay? And what formula we did have? x to the power m to the power n is equal to x to the power m n. Imagine or think that. See, the same scenario is happening here. What is x here? 2 is x. Then, what is m? m is again 2. And what is n? n is equal to 3. So, overall, what I am getting here? I am getting 2 to the power 6. 2 into 3, 6. Right? And now, think 2 to the power 8. Then, 4 to, no, not 4, I should not write 4, 2 to the power 6, 2 to the power 6 into a to the power 8, a to the power 5, and b, b to the power, b cube, and then b square, okay, I have it now, so what did I tell you, when there is x to the power m by x to the power n, then this is x to the power m minus n, we have to subtract the indices there 8 and 6 so this will become 2 to the power 8 minus 6 8 minus 6 then a to the power 8 minus 5 b to the power q minus 3 minus 2 so this one is 2 square into a q into b so in simplified version 4 a q b okay this is one type of problem now, I'm coming to another problem. Uh, if you want, you guys can take a screenshot here. Okay? I think you have done it. Now, it is the same actually. Okay? Just we have to do more work here. See? This is the expression given here. And this one is equal to 27. And we have to find out the value of x. And then x to the power x. Okay? Whenever you are given this type of problem, you try to find out the lowest number for which other can be expressed as a power. What does it mean? It means that in this expression, see, first of all, see the lowest number here. 
not with the power without the power see which number is the lowest 9 3 27 3 81 so 3 is the lowest and the second step which you should do we shall try to make the larger numbers as a power of the lowest number okay now 9 is obviously 3 square 3 is 3 27 27 is 9 equal into 3 which means 3 cube so this one is 3 cube okay it is 3 3 and 81 27 into 3 is about 81 therefore this is 3 to the power 4 okay this is as simple as that then we shall write is write it as that way 3 to the power 2x because 9 is equal to 3 squared then again a power then it will be multiplied into 3 to the power 5 27 is 3 cube so 3 cube into to the uh, 3 cube to the power 3 or 3 cube again a whole cube so in return it will become 3 to the power 9 this 3 and 3 will be multiplied so this is 3 to the power 9 then here 3 into 81 is 3 3 to the power 1 3 3 to the power 2 9 3 to the power 3 27 3 to the power 4 81 so this is 3 to the power 4 3 to the power 4 to the power 4 so this one is 16 right then here it is 27 which is equal to 3 cube okay now what is our main aim here we have to find the, what this expression this entire expression as a power of 3 and whatever the power of 3 we shall get there we shall equate that with the power of this side why because see 3 to the power 3 whatever the another quantity on the other side 3 to the power whatever it is those will be equal okay let me show you here now as we know all the laws of indices and if you have any trouble with that you can discuss with your teacher now as we know all the rules of indices then, uh, then I'm going to do it in one shot and if you have any problem then you should consult your book and also you can see the previous video again okay so let me do it this is 3 to the power 2x plus 5 plus 9 then minus 1 minus 16 okay this one is equal to 3 cube now whatever we have here in this side whatever we have this entire thing will be equal to this 3 why because 3 to the power 3 is always equal to 3 to the power 3 only since this 3 and this 3 they are same so if 3 to the power a chocolate is a 3 to the power a vanilla then obviously chocolate is equal to vanilla okay as simple as that so 3 to the power because you know, this is uh, minus 17 and here 14 so minus 3 3 to the power 2x minus 3 and then it is equal to 3 to the power 3 so in return what you shall get from here I'm not rubbing it this one will be equal to this one so 2x minus 3 is equal to 3 then 2x equal to 6 so x equal to 3 now I have to find x to the power x is 3 to the power 3 20. I hope you guys have understood it now you guys can take a screenshot also okay so these are two very simple problems but now let us move to something which is not tricky but to higher level problem a uh, difficult one not difficult these all are very simple problems very 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 much simple problems so you should you should practice problems like these though they are simple 
it will be beneficial for you obviously ha ah, there is a question they are saying which one is greater 2 to the power 2 to the power 2 square whole cube 2 to the power 2 to the power 3 and another number 2 to the power 2 whole cube or 2 square then whole cube which one is greater they are asking which one is greater okay they are asking Ah, uh, by the way, this is a problem number three in all exercises. Now, for the first one, look at the first one. Here, how we shall work? Two, keep it alone. First, work with two cube. This one. What it is giving us? It is giving us two to the power two cube is eight. Okay, this is giving us this one. But this two to the power two. I mean two to the power two, or two square. Whole cube. It means two to the power six, as our formula is told. These two get multiplied. So be careful with it. There is a subtle difference, or there is a subtle difference between these two. Do you know what is that? See, in this problem, what they are telling us, they are telling. First of all, think about the power of two. Power of two only. That is two cube. Okay. But here, when we are using a bracket, using a bracket here, and then a power, it means first of all we should calculate this portion. Then we shall go for that. But whenever we are removing the bracket, then it means we shall work here first. Then we shall work here. This one means, okay. So this is a very minute but deadly difference between these two quantities. Brackets make a huge change. I hope you guys understand that. There is a simple <coughs> thing from your very basic mathematics that two into two plus three. In this case, according to the Baudelaire's rule, we shall do this one first. Then we shall multiply. But if it was two into two plus three, then it will mean we shall do this first and then this addition. Actually, what we are doing here is nothing more than bonus. Okay, but that is for indices. That is the main thing. This one was a very minute, very little problem, but a very important one. That how to manipulate these powers in this way. So as I said it again, yeah. What is happening? We shall work for the power first, and then we shall go to the base. Okay, this is two to the power eight. And but in this case, we shall think about this one first. Then we shall work with this. And our formula says this one will simply be two into three. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I was doing this one. Okay, it is okay. So. These are three very conceptual problems. Now let's move to another one. Like we did in the previous problem, the next problem somehow is not different from that. But only there is a difference that in the last in the problem number two, what we did, we talked about simply the power different powers of a same number. But here we are going to talk about different numbers only. Okay, and we shall think about their powers. So the problem says is a very good one that. Nine by oh my goodness, nine by seven whole cube into forty-nine by eighty-one to the power two x minus six. This one equals to seven by nine whole to the power nine. 
Okay. This is not a tricky one, rather a very simple one. I think that if you guys have understood what we have to do, you have figured it out. Okay. Now, what did I tell you? I told you we have to find out the lowest number in this expression. So what is the lowest number? 9, 7, 14, 81, 7 and 9. Okay. So clearly we can understand there are two different numbers 9 and 7 and also see 49 is nothing but 7 square and 81 is nothing but 9 square so as I told earlier also we have to bring them in the same I mean power of same number we have to do that how to do that see this is 9 cube by 7 cube how is happening according our rule and then it is 7 square 9 square to the power 2x minus 6 equal to 7 to the power 9 9 to the power 9 okay then 9 cube by 7 cube into c since we have same power in the in both of them we can take them outside or hold to the power something so it will be 7 by 9 whole to the power or we can do it in some different way see it is 7 to the power 2 into this thing that is 4x minus 12 9 to the power 4x minus 12 and this one ultimately be equal to 7 to the power 9 and 9 to the power 9 okay then What we are getting first of all think about the powers of 7 okay so 7 to the power 4x minus 12 4x minus 12 then minus 3 yeah okay minus 3 now for 9 4x minus 12 minus 3 right this is equal to 7 to the power 9 9 to the power 9 right then 7 by 9 4x minus 12 minus 3 equal to 7 by 9 whole to the power 9 then obviously as the previous problem these two will be same and since they're same what we are getting 4x minus 15 this is minus 12 minus 3 minus 15 equal to 9 then 4x equal to 24 okay x equal to 6 this is what we are looking for so in all these four problems i think you guys have got some insight on the problems of indices how to tackle them and how to make it fruitful okay so in the next video i shall start with some lengthier and difficult problems and those problems will be really good at least at your level and for those who are preparing for several examinations they can also send me some questions though i am going to solve some of those level questions also which will also be beneficial for who are right now in class 9 uh, especially in the indian in indian indian boards okay so if you have liked this video, do you think that this is going to I mean, help you somehow to understand mathematics, then please do like this video, share among your friends and subscribe my channel. Okay. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Chai.